That's fucking great. Oh. <laughs> so Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts. We, we'll get to this news, people. We will get to it. All right. So let's let's speed through some because I have I have a lot to say about Obi Wan. Um, Thunderbolts. Okay. So you, as we know, Ross is Thunderbolts in comic books. If you don't know him, then in there he created Thunderbolt Ross created a team of like villains, mm -hmm. sort of some anti-hero villains, Suicide Squad esque heroes. Yeah. Sort of trying to be like you know yeah Suicide Squad version. Um, or if you want to say like they call it like Dark Avengers eventually, mm, but oh, yeah. um, go call. All right, so that gets taken over by Norman Osborn. Okay. Yeah, it, it, a lot of people take the helm of it, but they're always called the Thunderbolts. And it's Thunderbolt Ross, is of course General Ross, played by William Hurt in the MCU. God rest his soul. That's a question I'm gonna get to in just a moment. Um, but yeah, so it looks like they're putting together the Thunderbolts movie. Uh, spe and, you know, speculation right now, it's early development, uh, it won't be out for a few years, but the speculation is that the team will be made up of Ghost from Ant-Man and Wasp, cool. Abomination with Tim Roth, uh, as we as we know, he is coming back Yeah, to She-Hulk. We've seen him twice now, so he's in. Yeah. Wyatt Russell's John Walker, mm -hmm. um, Black Widow's Taskmaster, and the possibility of uh, Bucky. And Yelena. And okay. Uh, Yelena, I don't know if I like that, but I mean, it's at least a good intro to her to then break off and be whatever she's going to become. Yeah. Well, she, so. remember, Valentina goes to see her at the end of Black Widow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just saying for fitting in that team. Oh, I got for that okay. team the way you just read off everybody. I, I can yeah. see everyone else fitting a little better, but maybe that she'll play. I mean, she's amazing. She's a wonderful actress. That is not anything against Florence Pugh. I think she'll be the highlight of the movie. I'm just curious as to how long some of those characters are going to fit and who's going to stay. Yeah. I mean, we know of a few of them in there that did get canceled out in the blip. So I have a feeling this movie is going to take place just after that. Yeah. Logically. Plus you we got to get Thunderbolt roast, become the red Hulk brother. Yeah, that's true. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. um, so I got to see how that's going to be and all play out. Now, we'll, you know, who's going to play William Hertzroll. Yeah. That's what I wanted to ask you. I want to see what you thought. Like who well, could take over that role? It's a weird position because I don't want anyone much older than him. I don't want anyone older mm -hmm. at all. It's got to be someone younger, similar age. <clears throat> um, so it's kind of weird. Like who William Hurt was what, like 76? He was up there. Yeah. He was shockingly up there. I mean, he looked great for his age. That'd be cool. Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah. I could see Brad Pitt as Thunder. But yeah, you know what? He's done enough of that gruff stuff in Fury and Inglorious Bastards. He would fit very well in that. I think people forget how good of an actor he is sometimes. Uh, well, yeah, because you hear Brad Pitt and you just think California and those abs. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I mean, but, no, shut up. Go. He is so good in so many movies. In high school, I've literally been trapped in that mindset because I saw that as a freshman and I went, cool. That's what I'll never achieve and yet always want to be. And they say that body dysmorphia is only for women. <laughs> Heard here, folks. The more you know. <laughs> you kind of sing it out of tune, so NBC is not like. Banner <laughs> now. Uh, she's morally gray enough for the team. She yeah, is yeah. right, and, and I think she would bring a levity to it. Yes, yes, I think she'll fit in there and be something that can be mildly amusing. I just want her. I personally, I want her to be a more hero character, and the Thunderbolts were heroes accidentally. You know, I like I like more heroes. I'm sorry, I like my fucking heroes, <laughs> flawed heroes. But I want my my Falcons. You know, I think that level Bucky would be perfect for that. Redeemable, you know, return yeah. coming back from being crap. Tony Stark redeemable. Like that he might be recruited into that to kind of lead his own team. Um, because even if you think about it, like Baron uh, Baron Zemo. Would be like the probably the most villainous of all of them, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. He, he's the most bad guy because he well, he's the most manipulative. He's like, done the worst at this point. Ghost at the end, they were trying to help, you know, like and Ghost was broken, and then they fixed her. You know, I understand yeah. where Ghost was coming from because she was fucking crazy because she was interfacing her entire life. I mean, that's she's talking about her atoms feeling all of it being split apart in quantum realm and everything. So, yeah, you know, I could see Ghost coming back and being redeemed. I could see Tim Roth being redeemed. Abomination wasn't bad. He was used. He was wielded like a weapon. 
I have a feeling that's the way it's going to be coming up in She-Hulk as well. 